All right, good afternoon all. Um, thank you, of course, for your interest in being a part of our Armed Security Committee. Uh, we're going to be selecting members of the committee at this moment. Um, based on the uh, exploratory nature of this committee, I want to first address the charge and the purpose, the objective of the committee. It is to research and to gather information, to analyze the data, to provide some of the evidence, um, to really assess the impact of armed security on our school campus. Um, that committee's work, our efforts, our discourse, our collaboration as an exploratory committee will be synthesized for a public presentation at a Board of Education workshop or a meeting to help the board make an informed decision on this matter. It's likely that this presentation will take place in November, which is that um, quick pace uh, timeline for our meetings. There are four meetings over two months, and we start on Tuesday. Um, about the lottery. We have all the names here on the table. They've already been scanned um, on the recording and the live stream so that you can see that you're here and included. The names have been sorted into categories to represent specific roles that we wanted to make up the committee. Um, we'll select three from the category of law enforcement, retired law enforcement, or first responders. We'll select three from the category of Farmingdale High School students. We'll select six from the category of educational staff. And we'll select six from the category of parents and one parent seat of those six has been reserved for an executive level member of the PTA. Once your name has been selected during the lottery to participate, a committee member um, and an email and a calendar invitation will be sent out for the first meeting to follow this afternoon. Um, we'll also share with those folks who have been um, selected all of the meeting dates and times um, and, and location for each meeting as follows. If you did not get selected, we'll, we will not be corresponding with you, but I will keep a list of alternates in the event that someone's not able to attend a meeting. Um, we'll go as deep as three for the, for the two categories uh, of, of students, I mean, of parents and educators, and we'll go as deep as two for our law enforcement and our students. And so, we have some folks here in attendance. I don't need to pan them, but we do have a live audience and we have some um, administrative staff uh, as well. So without further ado, I'm going to start with our first category, get them in the basket and get them selected. Here. All right, we're locked. We're going to shuffle. Of course, there's one name stuck on it. The, there we go. Can I get you off of there? Make sure these guys are not on the bar, which will eliminate them. Okay. Come to a stop. I'm going to select six out of this category. These are our educators. I don't know where you want me to look. Mike, Mike can you read this right first name, Mike? Mike? Can you read this first name, yeah, yeah. sir? Laura Meyer. Michael Pavisi. Simad Imam. I 
Joseph Baccarella. Danielle Graham. Teresa Rogers. How many are we up to? That's six. six. Okay. Six right there. We're going to draw three alternates. Alternate one. Good. Alternate one, Carmen Rodriguez. Alternate two, Sharon LaCour. And alternate three, Donna Belch. All right, guys, thank you. Those are our uh, volunteer educators that have been selected. I'm going to move on to parents in the next category. I mean, educators. Okay, shuffle these up. Kim Keller. Bobby Shields. Hector Bonilla. Michelle Gix, G I C Z. Manuel Rodriguez. So that's five plus the PTA person. Okay. So there are three more alternates. That puts us at six parents. Three alternates coming now. It's a tough one. Alternate one, Arette Casero Glu. K A Y S E R I L I O G L U. Alternate two, Louis Pigat. Alternate three, Luis Torres, T -E O R R E S. Okay.
All right, our category of law enforcement, retired law enforcement and first responders. Selecting three from this category. David Williams. Michael Basilowitz. Michael Filicetta. Two alternates. Clark Taylor. John Boyce, B O Y C E. Finally, our students. Christian Galvez. Evelyn Alarcon. Griffin Buxa, B-U-K-S-A. And then two alternates on our students, right? Nicholas Cohen. Luke Ferriolo. Okay, that is uh, the makeup of our committee, and those who were selected will receive an email and a calendar invite. If you're not able to, um, and I'll move back a little bit, Please let me know as soon as possible if you're not able to um, participate on the committee. We, we know that there's a commitment for four meetings, bi-weekly, and they begin on Tuesday. Um, if you know you can't commit to those four meetings, please let us know and let someone else who's willing uh, to volunteer uh, take your place. Um, and also, a question was asked about information or, or um, additional research or data or expertise. Um, if we need to invite experts to inform the committee, we will certainly do that. Um, I think all of the information we're able to provide and present is going to be essential to helping the board make an informed decision. Uh, thank you all again for your um, interest and your submission and, uh, and commitment and support of the district in this, this difficult decision. I really do, and the district does, uh, appreciate it. Have a good day. Have a great weekend.